And I'm sure you can feel it. I did for years. For years, I'd be doing this habit and be like, why, 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 like, why? It's like killing my spirit. Like, why? Can't kill the spirit. Spirit's infinite. But these are the words I'm using. It just made my frequency and vibration lower when I would, you know, look at porn and, and masturbate and be obsessed with female attention and all that stuff constant dopamine hits just made my nervous system weak made me more susceptible to mood swings made me less vibrant more moody <laughs> there's no no way i <clears throat> my spiritual juice was like burnt up it's like these these habits were it was just killing me from the inside out didn't matter if you got gains it, where's spiritual gains is where it's at gandhi didn't have any gains, but he had spiritual gains. Like, who cares? I'm making a video about, like, uh, uh, you know, gains and physical appearance has nothing to do with masculinity at all. Nothing. It has to do with genetics. So I was killing myself slowly from the inside out, and I didn't know it. I knew it, but I couldn't stop it. Lack of power. That was my problem. And this is why I'm a proponent of 12-step programs for those who, um, who feel that might help them, because it will. To be in a group, a room where everybody's like talking about this and you have different levels of transcendence. You have some people who are just fresh there as their first day. And then you have others been there for some months. They have some, uh, some time of not acting out on these, ha these habits. And then you have people for years and you have all ages. Yeah, from 18 up to 80 because this these habits man they don't it don't, doesn't discriminate doesn't care about your gender your religion your age nothing doesn't matter it's it's basically called it's sexual instinct gone wild that's what it is and then that morphs into all kinds of perversions and bad habits that suck our life force this is what pmo is this is why and semen retention is the opposite of that but like easier said than done, as some of you guys know. It sounds great at first. And look, there, there's gonna be a honeymoon stage. This should be realized. It's similar to when you're in a relationship, when you meet a girl and if a girl meets a guy or whatever, that first 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, everything's real cool. You're like walking off the ground, man. You're like vibing. Your energies are synergized. You're like, feeding off each other. It's like two lights are stronger than one. Some, something like that. <clears throat> and it's great. You're like, wow, I found the one. Found my twin, twin flame. Make a video together, like showing everybody how much you love each other. Uh, and then later, what happens? Yeah, then later, these same two people <laughs> could be in prison for trying to kill each other or for killing each other. Yeah, because the real stuff starts to come up. The real stuff, the stuff that's hiding in the subconscious mind that we don't know about. When we first meet somebody, everything we will put on our best act and everything we're all cool, yeah. And then that that's an act, so it gets old, it starts to wear off after a while. And then your true, your true, you can say colors start to show. Your real expectations, like, of what you want from this person, your insecurities, that you want them to fulfill that they can't. It's impossible. Another human being can't do your inner work, but but we try, and then we get disappointed that they're not doing it. And they're they're doing the same thing. They don't even care. They don't care about your insecurities. They care about their insecurities. So then you get two insecure people like wanting to make one another make the other one feel secure. I mean, yeah. And then that could turn into uh, crime. <laughs> All right. So I'm comparing that. So, but the first 90 days can be honeymoon. Okay, same with, with semen retention. You're like, damn, this was the missing ingredient from my life. This is what I need to do. You're feeling good. You, your energies are getting more balanced. You see, you see that being mirrored when you go outside on external level. People are noticing something about you. You're like, yeah. And then the mind takes that a lot of times and <clears throat> boosts the ego with it. It's okay. You can't help it for a while. But at some point we learn like, you know what? Don't take any of this personal. Give all the credit to Grace. And if 
they want to look at me cool, if they don't want to look at me cool, I don't want anything from them, so it doesn't matter. If you, you see, this is the thing, <clears throat> this, is, this is what we're talking about here. You care if they look at you because there's still insecurities hiding there that you haven't dealt with yet. So you don't feel that during the first 90 days maybe, or 30, 30 days, these deeper insecurities. That's why I call it the honeymoon stage. God like gives us a little break. He's like, okay, let's, let's slow down the evolution a little bit. Uh, <laughs> we don't want too much stuff to come up at once. It's gonna freak the person out and you know. So then he tries to break it off to you a little bit <clears throat> softer. And so that's why some people are like, what happened? First couple months was like, cool. Now it's like, man, I don't know. I f I'm feeling like more insecure than I was when I was doing PMO. Like what's going on? This must be, I shouldn't do this. This is bad. <laughs> that's the mind. That's what the mind will do. It wants to trick you to go back and do these old habits. What's happening is your older, I mean, these deeper uh, insecurities, your, your deeper baggage is starting to like come up. It's starting to come up. And so you didn't, you weren't aware of that before. When we're doing debaucherous, crazy uh, in, in things and live in an unconscious lifestyle, you're not gonna be aware of, of, of these deeper things that you're here to transcend. You're not gonna be aware. How are you gonna be aware? You're doing drugs all the time, rather it be real drugs or dopamine drug, same thing. That's allowing you temporarily to escape from this inner work, but it's killing your, your, your light also, your spirit. So when you start to get on the, <clears throat> on the good train, spiritual train, then these things are gonna start to come up and they take a while, it's slow. And that doesn't mean there's something wrong, it means there's something right. The purification, uh, the purification's kicked in, process is kicked in. That's what's happening. And then you gotta ride that train. That's why it's a lot easier. More people get a couple months of semen retention than there are people who have a couple years. Why? Because this process that I'm describing. It's easy to do something when it's easy. <clears throat> when you're in the honeymoon stage, everything's easy. It's like when you meet the girl and you're in the honeymoon stage, she can make mistakes and stuff. It's, oh, it's okay, I love you anyway. Yeah, she'll do the same for you. But then once that stage is over, <laughs> then the real deal shows. Then, then it's time to see like where you're at, where do you really have gains in your spiritual muscles? I've said in another video, your spiritual muscles is, that's where it's important to have gains, not the physical. You can't get gains like this anyway, so but it's better to get the spiritual muscle gains because <clears throat> that's what we're here to do. Anyway, this is our purpose in life is for everybody, whether they realize it or not, is to build the highest level character in vir virtue that, that we can. Th this is the main purpose. And then God puts all these distractions here and these tendencies and instincts and you know, to, to engage in bad habits. That's all part of the show. I mean, it's not going to be easy. This planet's like special forces training on a certain level, especially for some of you. Some of, some of us have lives, man, that just is no joke. It's like we're living like 20 lifetimes in this one life. It's so concentrated with challenges and just one after another. It's like you can't rest till, till you die. That's all right. Then, then you rest when you die. In the meantime, use all these challenges as compost to wake up. And then you can go see my other channel, Spiritual Renaissance. That's a spiritual channel. All right, I'll see you.